Hey guys, welcome back to another day in the arena. We are here uh, again trying to hit uh, rank one mythic. So if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate you. And if you do end up liking my content, please consider subscribing, maybe sharing it with a friend. For my returning viewers, thank you guys so much again for coming back and supporting me. You guys are the backbone of the channel and I could not do this without you. So thank you so much. Um, one other point, the deck list will be in the description of the video, both on untapped.gg and moxfield.com. I'll also have a link to the playlist for the full playlist, so if you want to see the previous videos, feel free to check that out as well. But yeah, really excited here. Um, the new cards in this deck have just been awesome. Lava Spur Boots and Grand Abolisher are just absolutely amazing. Um, I do also want to take a moment here for a shout out for my members. Um, so again, thank you so much, Kibo, for being the first member here on my channel. If you are considering helping to support the channel, a really great way to do it is to become a member. You do get access to um, <clears throat> early access for my videos, as well as getting a shout out on my videos. I'm hoping to have some other kind of uh, benefits coming up soon. And uh, again, it's just a great way to help support the channel. So if you do, are considering that, I really appreciate you. If you would like to become a member and help support my channel, you can do so. Just click on the join button right next to where it says subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Um, or if you would like to just support my channel just on a one-time basis, you can also click the super thanks button uh, here right on the, uh, also right under the banner here for the video. So these are both great ways to support the channel. I really appreciate you guys and I couldn't do this without you. So thank you guys so much again for your consideration. All right, let's get into some games. No changes here to the deck. Um, it's been working really well. I like where everything's at. So let's just go ahead and jump into some games. I hope everybody's had a really great day so far. I am super excited about the new set. I just... Oh man, I've, I've been looking up all kinds of stuff um, just to kind of read as many cards as possible to get ready for possibly doing some limited as well. I just love draft also, so maybe I'll end up doing a draft here or two. Um, I will have a collaborative draft with Ace MTG coming out later this week, so please come back and check out uh, that video. Should be posting in a couple days. But uh, yeah, this opening hand looks great, and... There's also just a ton of uh, different decks that I think are going to be really great coming out of this new set. So I did get a comment um, about Mono White Aggro, and I think that that is going to be a really good deck as well. Um, part of this this challenge here, I'm just going to be sticking with Mono White Humans, but um, I'd love to know your results if you end up doing Mono White Aggro. Cards like Aven Interrupter are going to absolutely break open the format, so super excited there. All right, let's... Go ahead, and we're up against probably Boros Convoke. Thalia could slow down um, if they have, like, Creature plus Gleeful Demolition. So I think I'm probably going to go Thalia here. Abolisher is also another great card. But yeah, let's go Thalia. If I can slow him down for even a turn, it feels good. Oh, never mind. I guess this is the uh, Boros Angel deck, and Brutal Cathar is right on time, because Giada definitely gets completely out of hand if we leave it for even a single turn. Yeah, really happy to have uh, three copies of Brutal Cathar in the deck. I think that you don't want to go anything under three. Um, I went down to two and regretted it, so... Okay, looks like they've got like a lightning helix or something. Yeah, okay. But it buys us a little bit of time before the crazy angels start coming. Uh, let's lead out with Adeline here. And I think we're just gonna push with everything since we're gonna create an extra token here just to get as much damage in as possible. Yeah, 
Yeah, I was a little surprised they wanted to block Token over the uh, <laughs> Veteran, but, you know, that's up to them. Gonna need another piece of removal here, stat. <laughs> oh god. Not the Vindicator. Oh jeez. Oh, at least it doesn't have first strike, so we can still, like, fight through it with Adeline. Um... I'm not sure if they're gonna block, actually. They might just try to race it. So I think there's a decent chance that we can get a free attack in here with Adeline. Um, well, I guess free is a is a not exactly the right word because they're gonna gain five from blocking the token. So I guess if we push with Adeline, they kill the token, gain the five. We're not even doing five, so it's kind of a miss. So I guess instead, let's just go ahead and go for Knight Errant here. Hmm. Do I want Veteran? I think I'm just gonna... Yeah, I think Veteran is fine here. I guess we can attack and we can push one damage on them. This will they'll gain five, but we'll do six. So I guess that works. And we gain the life off the uh, yeah. That that's that's not bad. <clears throat> Okay, we can try to keep looking for another Brutal Cathar, because we're going to need one stat. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my lord. Oh, this is going to be very quickly approaching unwinnable. Um, let's see. So we need to save three mana if we draw the Brutal Cathar. So we can afford to play Officer. And then we got a search. Um, yeah. Okay. We're also at risk for just dying in the air. So you have to be a little careful here. I think we probably just tap the Knight Errant since we can't really get in with it, even against the Resplendent Angel. So just do it like that, and then hope to get Brutal Cathar here. Okay, I mean, that's, that's great, but it's not a Brutal Cathar. Yeah, we might just be dead here. Yeah, they've got to play with fire. I'm guessing that means that we're dead. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah, and they've got 17 in the air. That's going to do it. And Aurelia, just to make sure... Well, the Angel deck is pretty good. If we don't have removal, it definitely gets out of hand, especially if they can keep Giada around. We are gonna hopefully fight through some bangers here, but uh, oh man, that was a that was a rough beating. All right, opening hand looks great. Initiate makes me think that it's probably not Bora. It's probably just another mono white deck here. Yep, 
Yeah. Ooh, Brutal Cathar is going to be great. Um, March is also decent. I don't know that I really want to get rid of anything yet. I guess we just hold it for later. We are going to take a little bit of a beating here, though. Okay, that could be a problem. God, if they go Peacekeeper for a Brutal Cathar. I guess we just then use March and one of the Cathars to get rid of it. So that's probably fine. Oh, but it has Ward. Oh, God. So I guess next turn we can March. Yeah. we could also get rid of the vanguard here but i think getting rid of the peacekeeper is worth doing If we get rid of Knight Errant, it might be a little bit. I mean, Knight Errant's always good. We could march for march to get rid of the Peacekeeper. Hmm. I do want to get rid of their Copper Coat too, though. Yeah, I guess we've got the extra removal here, so I think just march for march is actually fine. I think we hold back Veteran in case they have Adeline next turn. Um, we, we miss out on a damage here, but I think we want to try to try to do damage control a little bit. Hopefully we can just take over the game here with uh, our Brutal Cathars at this point. I think with the Aganjo, I think we play it out because we just need the mana. We've got too much to do. Like, I'd like to hold it, but I think we just need the mana. Um start pushing I suppose I guess if they have brutal Cathar I mean it's just super rough if they have Cathar Okay, that's actually a nice Adeline. Um, we don't quite have enough to Adeline into Knight Errant. We do push... I mean, we can hold back some of their stuff. And we get to get, like, two creatures, gain some extra life. It feels pretty good. I think even though Brutal Cathar is awesome, I think just Adeline here is a little better. And then I think we just push with Veteran here, just to kind of play it safe. And then if they want to commit to like pumping up their Warden, then we can just go ahead and Brutal Cathar it. Yeah. 
Yeah, and that's actually a really nice pickup. Now we can push, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think we just push with Adeline here. I guess we could push with the token, but I'd rather have an extra blocker. So I think we just push with Adeline. I guess technically we could have played the Knight Errant first for an extra damage. So yeah, we missed, we missed out on a damage there. Let's just get as much life gain as humanly possible here. <clears throat> Adversary's good, for sure. God, that's an amazing draw. Okay, if we, let's see, if we play Vanguard, do we just kill them? Because um, we have Vanguard plus Iganjo then. And just like full send. So if they block here and here, <clears throat> they're taking one, two. Actually, never mind. These are humans, right? Yeah, two, four, seven, ten, twelve. Yeah, they're super dead. <clears throat> that works. Actually, they're not quite dead. But if they block with adversary, we're like not super worried. So I think it's okay. They have <clears throat> force blocks on Adeline and Knight Errant if they want to live. 12, 14, 16. Yeah, they have to block those two if they want to live. That'll do it. Yeah, especially like in these um, creature mirrors against like mono white, I definitely want to try to find as many copies of Lunaric Veteran as possible, just to like give ourselves as much time as we possibly can. Yeah, this hand's not going to work. Um, if we had two mana, definitely keep, but we don't. This hand looks a lot better. What do we throw back? I think we can throw back probably Myrix here. Because we could just go like one, two, two. I, I suppose having like three mana could be nice for Night Errant. I think we've got enough to do though. Hmm. I guess it's actually probably a little bit better to keep the third land since we're not guaranteed to draw one and then that could for sure make it so we can go Knight Errant. So the question then is, do we throw back Copper Coat or Thalia? I guess Thalia's a little safer, just because it's good against more decks, but <laughs> they can also concede, that works too. <laughs> Man, I'm just like sitting here going like super deep in the tank and like what to keep and they just can see it out of boredom. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, God. Let that be a strategy. If, like, <laughs> if you think too long, your, your opponent might just concede. I wonder what, like, the EV on that is. Alright, opening hand looks great. And really nice hand against Mono Red, since we've got Veteran plus Adeline. March is actually also pretty good here. Um, but I think we want Veteran. Just a lot. Next turn we can go like Veteran plus March. Probably pitching Grand Abolisher. Okay, definitely, definitely, definitely using March next turn. Um, yeah, I think I want to do both. I want Veteran and March. Guess we can wait till their next turn to do it. We don't have to do it now. <laughs> this, this is so great. God, March is a beating. Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> yeah, we'll pay one. Okay, unfortunately it didn't hit land. I think that's all right, though. We can just go for Adversary here, and that's still pretty good. As long as they don't have, like, End the Festivities, we're feeling pretty good. Let's just get Adeline going here. Um, I don't think we care to block this. I guess they could pump it and try to like fling it at us maybe. That is a possibility, but we're going to be gaining so much life I'm not worried about it. And that is going to do it. Let's see. This will be five, six, seven, eight, eleven. Yeah, they're dead. That'll work.
Yeah, March has just been just a huge MVP against so many decks. Okay, opening hand looks nice. Um, we've got good mana, at least, so that's great. Creature on two and three. Uh, probably mono red here. I guess there's the question of like, do we do we play adversary into path into play with fire? Doesn't feel great. I think we actually just hold it here. I mean, like, I don't know. Maybe that's wrong, but. Cause like we've got enough mana for this to do something on four. All right, now we'll play Adeline. Hopefully they don't have the kill for Adeline. Witch Doctor Frenzy would be awkward. I will accept Squee. How do we want to do this? Do we just want to go for adversary here? Um, yeah, we could do adversary or knight errant. Knight errant is a little bit stickier, so I think knight errant is probably better. The downside, though, is we don't get the life gain. Hmm. Maybe the safer play is just Cathar, because Cathar at least removes a threat. They can kill it and replace it, but that buys us time. Not actually sure. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for Adversary. It's kind of the same thing. Um, if it sticks around, it's great. It probably won't. Unfortunately, it does mean that they can get rid of it with a simple play with fire. But we'll still have blockers. It'll kind of tie up their mana a little bit. So I'm fully expecting the adversary to just go down here. Yeah, there's the play with fire. Now they're representing either Monstrous Rage or lightning strike. Yeah, let's see, we take five here. I think I want another good attack with Adeline, just to try to set up. We've got like a lot of stuff to do here. It does get us potentially into like, into some dangerous range. I guess if they get rid of Adeline, we can just like go for like Knight Errant, which isn't the worst. Kind of slows them down a bit too. Hmm, this is kind of tough. Yeah, I think I'm actually okay just... Hmm. Yeah, I think actually I do want to kind of burn their hand a little bit. Since we're at kind of decently low life, we don't have life gain in our hand. This is really, it's, it's close. Like I could see like going either direction. Question is now, do we get rid of the Squee or the Feldon? Probably Feldon, because they're looking for more threats. We're super low. So I think we just Brutal Cathar their Feldon. And then just attack with Adeline here. They easily could burn us out, but. Okay, short on mana, I like that. 
And here we're like happy to block with Brutal Cathar if they want to like waste time killing it, that's fine. Okay, now we just gotta protect our life total. So we block like this, go to one. Officer plus Brutal Cathar. If they've got something, they've got something. I guess because next turn they can cast Squee. So they'll have a minimum of two attackers. I guess they'll have four attackers, but we can get rid of one. I think we have to get rid of the Feldon here. We need a bare minimum of four blockers. So if they didn't top deck the removal, or like the burn, I think we can block and like get through this turn. Okay, easy block. They're trying to go for the trick here. We want to make sure to um, not kill their scoundrel. I don't blame them for trying to like get there. That was a good game. Definitely really close. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We ended up going four and one. So, yeah, pretty happy. And uh, we're getting closer to that rank one that we're shooting for. Let's take a look at the stats for the deck. All right. So we are currently 70% win rate. 33 wins and 14 losses. 71% um, win rate on the play and 56% on the draw. So yeah, really happy with how the deck is playing out. 85% win rate against mono red, 67% against Boros, um, and also against mono white, Selesnia. A couple other decent matches here. Looks like, looks good against like Demir, Golgari. Um, Teamers 50-50, and then doing well against like Rakdos, Abzan and Gruul. Um, and then I think we just need to pick up some more games here against uh, Domain. But yeah, overall, really happy with the deck. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, again, you guys are awesome. And if you like my content, consider subscribing. So we'll see you next time.